Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common issue that many developers encounter when working with SQLize. Our viewer has a question about a specific error. Has many called with something that's not an instance of SQLize model? Let's dive into the details. Welcome back guys to another technical help question. I'll be going through the question, the answers, and hoping to help find that answer. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and get through and work to the solution. Now let's get started. Let's address the issue with the SQLize models. The error indicates that has many is being called with something that is not an instance of SQLize model. First, ensure that both your user and photo models are correctly defined and exported. In your user model, you have defined the relationship using user has many photo. Next, in your photo model, make sure you are importing the user model correctly. You should use photo.belongs to user to establish the relationship. Now, let's verify the export statements in both models. Ensure that you are returning the correct model instance at the end of each file. Finally, check your SQLize initialization. Make sure you are importing and using the models correctly in your main application file. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. The error occurs when referencing the model incorrectly. Remember, SQLize is case sensitive. If your model name starts with an uppercase letter, keep it consistent throughout. As a solution, you can use this code snippet to define the relationship correctly. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the issue, you need to define both ends of the one-to-many relationship in your user file. Specifically, use user.hasMany for the user model and photo.belongsTo for the photo model. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The user found that none of the common solutions worked for their issue. They discovered that models need to be defined and exported before setting up associations. Using a separate file for this setup proved successful. For more details, the user references an article that helped them resolve the issue. They provide a link to a GitHub repository with an example. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. This user faced challenges with SQLize, but found a solution by using the SQLize CLI. It generated models that simplified creating associations. They highlighted the benefit of having an associate method in the model, which allows for easy management of relationships without needing to require models at the top of the file.
for more help, they recommend a YouTube video that guided them through the process. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The user encountered an issue with SQLize associations, despite following the documentation correctly. They found a helpful explanation from Dorian on Stack Overflow. The user defined three models, company, client, and client company. Each model includes necessary fields and relationships. In the index file, the user established many-to-many -many relationships between company and client using the client-company model. Finally, in the handler file, the user retrieves a company along with its associated clients using a find one query. And that's it, guys. I hope we've gone through and found the answer that you're looking for. And look, if we did find that answer in your resolution, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need technical videos, I hope you have a good one. Goodbye.